Hey everyone, welcome back to Learning Bridge. I hope you guys are doing good and staying safe. So I am back again with amazing video for the data engineering family. So one or two weeks back, I uploaded this video where I talked about top 10 service based companies which hire for the data engineering role. And I talked about their job profiles, required skill sets, average CTC. And to help the data engineering community in this video, I will be providing you some really amazing information about the top Indian unicorn startups which hire for data engineering profile. And again, in this video, whatever information I will be sharing, the target audience would be those data engineering candidates who are having zero to five years of experience but these company names and their details definitely can help the experienced folks as well to get the knowledge of these kind of startups who are hiring for the data engineering profile so stick with me till the very end and if you find this information really helpful really informative make sure to hit the like button in big numbers so that this information can reach to maximum maximum number of people and as like the previous video i would again request you to share few things in the comment section first if you have worked in these kind of startups as a data engineer then make sure to share your experience whatever role you worked for whatever skill sets required and if possible average ctc as well because that would be a really good information for the audience itself and any of you who think that or even have worked for different indian startups which you think should have been mentioned in this list of top 10 startups and not present here make sure to list down in the comment section because your perspective your opinion is also very very important and at the end of the video based on your interest based on the skill sets required by these companies and average ctc make sure to mention your top three startups in the comment section out of these 10 and also if you are new to my channel and liking these kind of information related to data engineering make sure to hit the subscribe button as well and press the notification icon and guys i have one more amazing announcement for these students and working professionals who want to target some really good product based companies because coding ninjas is back again with their scholarship test which is scheduled for 20 and 21st february timing will be 9 pm to 10 pm ist why 20 21st two dates let's say somebody registered for 20th and was not able to attempt the test then you can do it on the 21st itself and now you will be thinking what is the syllabus for this scholarship test so the syllabus is very easy there will be 30 aptitude based questions which will be kind of mcq no negative marking and a very pocket friendly registration fee and this registration fee can be more pocket friendly if you will use this coupon code 50 because you will get extra 50% discount on the registration fee and why you should actually register for this scholarship test because you will be getting a short scholarship up to 100% and a free hard copy book named as ACO coding interviews which will help you to crack your interviews third industrial training certificates from coding ninjas and this assured scholarship you can use for coding ninjas courses where you will get one to one doubt resolving support which is quite amazing second these courses are actually prepared by the top alumni who are working in top tech companies like Amazon Google Facebook Microsoft and many other top notch companies third dedicated placement cell which will help you to land in the good amazing product based companies use the link which is in the description get yourself registered as soon as possible and you can use the coupon code 50 to get extra 50 percent discount all right guys so this is the list of top 10 indian unicorn startups which hire for the data engineering profile and here i will talk about each of them one by one so let's start with the first one which is bharat pay and i'm pretty sure after watching the shark tank india you might be knowing the name of bharat pay for sure so let's look at the job profile the required skill sets and annual ctc so job profile they have basically for the data engineering that is data engineer itself now let's look at the required skill set um people who even let's say don't know about the bharat pay so they basically works in the digital payments so the required skill set for data engineering role at bharat pay will be like python java any of the language MySQL, Postgre, any of the transactional database, MongoDB or Cassandra type of NoSQL databases, Redshift or BigQuery, Redshift is basically a warehouse service provided by the AWS, similarly BigQuery is a warehouse service provided by the Google Cloud and here in terms of the storage they are preferring AWS S3 and GCP GCS and big data related frameworks Apache Spark, Apache Kafka, Scheduler, Apache Airflow and these are few dashboarding tools which are listed here Redash, Metabase and Superset. Their annual CTC basically varies from the 25 LPA to 35 LPA and again I've been saying this CTC part is something which will vary for candidate to candidate salary hike and everything will depend on multiple factors the counter offers your previous CTC okay and the kind of role you are looking for now let's look at the second amazing unicorn startup that is the Swiggy and I know many of you definitely know about it this is basically in the food delivery and you can say even the food tech domain so the job role you can expect in Swiggy that will be named as software engineer that too for the data platform so if you see this kind of job profile in swiggy or somebody reach out to for this profile that means this is for the data engineering so let's look at the required skill set and that is basically in terms of languages java scala golang dsa should be good and data warehousing understanding data modeling databases understanding of that linux unix based systems 
SQL should be really good understanding of NoSQL databases in terms of the big data tech stack Apache Spark, Apache Fling and Apache Kafka. Now let's look at their annual CTC. So that annual CTC can actually vary from 20 lakhs per annum to the 40 lakhs per annum. Now let's look at the third amazing unicorn startup that is Innovacer. So people who don't know about the Innovacer. So this is basically a kind of startup who works in the healthcare sector. And here the job profile you can expect that will be again the data engineer and their required skill sets will be so again they are mostly mostly working on the healthcare data healthcare sector so their probably prime focus would be if somebody has a good expertise on the healthcare kind of data so that will be treated as a plus for sure and they will be expecting someone to be really good at python and also the sql part as well so these two things will be very important and mostly they are working on semi-structured kind of data which will be having on the xml format so you should have a good understanding of those kind of file formats their passings and all Let's look at their annual CTC. So the annual CTC for Innovacer can vary from 12.5 LPA to 28 LPA. And the next amazing unicorn startup is CoinDCX, basically a platform which is for the trading. And trading is something which is really, really popular nowadays. So let's look at the job profile you can expect for the data engineering role. That will be data engineer itself. And the required skills will be Apache Spark, Kafka, Databricks, and data warehousing services like Redshift, Snowflake, BigQuery, Synapse, in terms of the languages python scala java mostly i have seen they preferred python version controlling ci cd tools like github bitbucket and jenkins schedulers apache airflow data modeling tools like dbt data from alterix informatics so these kind of skill sets will be required for the data engineering role at coin dcx now let's look at their ctc so their CTC actually can vary from 20 lakhs per annum to 50 lakhs per annum. This is definitely really cool, I must say. Amazing, amazing compensation site. Now let's look at the another amazing unicorn startup that is Dream11. So Dream11, basically kind of startup which is in the sports. The job role you can expect for data engine profile in Dream11, that would be SD, data engineering. That means software development engineer for the data engineering domain. So you will be data engineer. Don't worry about that. Required skill sets will be uh, Spark, Kafka, KSQL, Yarn, high HDFS understanding, again warehousing services like AWS Redshift or Snowflake, languages Java or Scala, you have to be really good at this SQL, SQL queries and understanding of NoSQL databases like Elasticsearch, HBase, Cassandra and MongoDB. Now let's look at their compensation part as well. So their annual CTC can actually vary from 20 lakhs per annum to 40 lakhs per annum. So now let's look at the another unicorn startup that is uh, Grofers, but now their name has been changed to Blinkit and people who don't know about Grofers or Blinkit, so they are actually in the grocery delivery services and why they actually changed their name to Blinkit because recently they have started this uh, 15 minute of delivery feature and that is their main target nowadays and let's look at their job role for the data engineering so that will be again software development engineer but your designation will be data engineer because you will be working for that domain required skill set will be object oriented design dsa languages python scala versioning tools like github bitbucket big data frameworks like hive yarn spark presto kafka flink scheduler airflow sql queries your relational or transactional databases understanding of nosql databases and deployment tools like the kubernetes so this will be the required skill sets and annual ctc for growfers or blinkit can actually vary from 22.5 lakhs per annum to 45 lakhs per annum now let's look at the another amazing unicorn startup that is cred and cred is also kind of a startup which is in the fintech domain now let's look at their job role for the data engineering profile that will be data engineer itself the required skill sets will be python slash scala for the programming and even the shell scripting and spark hadoop schedulers airflow nifi and SQL data modeling, relational databases and AWS Redshift dashboarding tools like Tableau and in terms of the cloud, they are actually preferring the AWS. So these will be the required skill sets. Now let's look at their annual CTC for data engineering profile that can vary from 23 lakhs per annum to 42 lakhs per annum. Now let's look at the next unicorn startup that is Ola Electrics. So before Ola Electrics, they were majorly focused on the ride hailing services. So Ola was definitely a competitor for Uber in India. And the Ola Electrics part is basically focusing on EVs, electric vehicles, and they are also working on the data side as well. So the job role you can expect for data engineering profile, that will be data engineer itself. The required skill sets that will be like Hadoop, Spark, Kafka, 
SQL understanding transactional database like Postgres, NoSQL databases like Cassandra and schedulers like Asgaban, uh, Luigi, Airflow and here they are majorly focusing on Azure cloud platform so Synapse, ADF, ADX, Databricks, Cosmos DB, Azure SQL DB and here for the real time streaming they are preferring Storm, Spark streaming languages python java scala so these will be the required skill sets let's look at their annual ctc and that can actually vary from 18 lakhs per annum to 30 lakhs per annum now let's look at the next unicorn startup that is razor pay so razor pay is again also something which is in fintech but here they majorly focus on the payment gateway size so they actually provide payment gateways as a service to different customers so let's look at the job role you can expect here that will be data engineer itself required skill set will be hdfs s3 spark flink hive hbase kafka kinesis transactional databases sql queries no sql databases like Elasticsearch, cassandra mongodb asgaban luigi airflow as a scheduler for the cloud they are preferring aws slash gcp anything if you have a good understanding about any of the cloud platform and here for the streaming they are preferring spark streaming and flink and for the language part they are preferring python slash java slash scala and let's look at their annual ctc and that can actually vary from 25 lakhs per annum to 50 lakhs per annum now let's look at the last indian unicorn startup that is misho so they are actually in the e-commerce domain and primarily into the fashions so clothings and all just like mintra so and also one amazing point about misho that recently they have declared that they have allowed their employees for work from anywhere so no compulsion or nothing will be required to be at the office and work so kind of a remote workplace they have provided to their employees and now for the job role in terms of the data engineering you can expect the software development engineer data data platform that kind of profile you will be getting and that is that means actually you are working as a data engineer and the required skill sets will be uh, the kafka they are majorly focusing and their uh, data platform is something which is catering the real time uh, kind of events so kafka will be something which you should definitely know and spark emr hive impala delta lake presto db and the scheduler like airflow data lineage kind of tools and here again apache flink spark streaming stanza and for the clouds part they are actually focusing on the big data services which are on the aws so these will be the skill sets which will be required now let's look at the ctc part so their ctc can vary from 22 lakhs per annum to 40 lakhs per annum for data engineer and that's what i had for you guys in this video i hope you would have enjoyed this amazing information about really amazing startups for the data engineering profile if you did then make sure to give a like in the big number so that this video can reach to maximum number of aspiring data engineers and as i said to make this video Video quite interactive i need your opinions in the comment section so put a comment for sure and if you're new to my channel and watching any of my video for the very first time then subscribe as well and press the notification icon i will see you guys in the next video with another amazing information till then just stay safe stay home take care of yourself and your family too